Have a pleasant day, everyone. Once again, this is your biology teacher, Teacher Glenn. Our topic for today is the dreaded virus. Some of you might be thinking, what kind of entity is this? What are the characteristics of this entity? And what makes it very deadly? For our lesson today, I will be presenting to you the major characteristics of viruses. All viruses have a central core of RNA or DNA surrounded by a protein coat. The core of RNA or DNA serves as their genetic makeup or their blueprint in order for them to reproduce. Viruses don't have nucleus. They don't have cytoplasm. They don't have cell organelles or even a cell membrane. Virus particles, therefore, are not cells. Viruses don't have the basic characteristics of a living organism. They don't feed, they don't respire, they don't excrete, or they don't grow, but they can increase in population. Viruses do reproduce but only inside the cells of living organisms. Using materials provided by the host cells, they can reproduce in an instant. Their way of living is somewhat parasitic. Viruses' nucleic acid core is a coiled single strand of RNA. The coat of viruses is made up of regularly packed protein units called capsomeres, each containing many protein molecules. The protein code of a virus is called a capsid. Now let's go to our revision tip. Viruses are not part of any classification system as they are not considered living things. They do not carry out the seven life processes for themselves. Instead, they take over a host cell's metabolic pathways in order to make multiple copies of themselves. Thank you for listening, guys. Till next time.